Welcome to ASU and the online campus for electrical engineering. Important note, this recording is not academic advising. Please email askee at asu.edu to schedule an upcoming new online student information and registration session via Zoom. The session is interactive and students will receive specific feedback to their file from the assigned academic advisor. The academic advisor who facilitates the session will then be assigned to work with you through the duration of your academic career at ASU. The electrical engineering BSc curriculum is 120 hours minimum of required coursework. Five math courses minimum, general chemistry with general chemistry two being in the mix, three physics courses, lower and upper division, specific engineering core work, and then all students at ASU are required to complete English composition, the equivalent to English 101 and 102. And then of course, all students as well must do general studies dependent on their catalog year in the humanities and so forth. Math placement. Unless you have transfer coursework that is equivalent to Math 117, College Algebra, Math 170, Pre-Calculus, or Math 265, which is Calculus 1, you will need to take the Alex Math Placement Assessment at this link. Based on your score, you are eligible to start in one of the following courses, Math 117, Math 170, and Math 265. Please be aware that this same assessment is used by other majors, and you might notice additional math classes in the score categories. Please do not attempt those classes as they do not apply to this major. The Alex assessment can be taken at least three times, and there is practice work and practice exams on the site. The BSc program is broad and designed to teach core electrical engineering concepts and introduce all the areas of specialization within the profession. The goal is to prepare students to work in a variety of industries upon graduation. Our school website is ecee.engineering.asu.edu and you can find degree information here including syllabuses with all of the content of the classes, faculty by research area, and more. At this point, you may have noticed your graduation audit or DARS, which stands for Degree Audit Reporting System. This is under your My Programs on your My ASU. When you click on the degree program, you'll notice Graduation Audit, Major Map, and DARS Explained. The Graduation Audit is what the Graduation Office will use when you apply to complete your degree and have it conferred as a Bachelor of Science student in Electrical Engineering. All of the requirements on the audit are required. You may also notice that there are courses at the bottom of your degree audit that show as transferable but not applicable. You may see that you have a class there that might be considered an electrical engineering class. That doesn't mean you do not get credit for it. It means that ASU has never seen that class from your institution before. So again, if you have say a calculus class from another college and it's at the bottom versus applying in the calculus one category, you may need to submit a syllabus for evaluation by using the transfer guide, ASU's tool for all things transfer. You'll notice course search, my path to ASU, exam search, and then additional student resources. Credit can only be awarded for courses within the directly equivalent EE requirement. Under course search, you will find the link for submitting a course for evaluation. Again, this is when you see a course that may be applicable, but has not applied in the correct area on your DARS. You will be required to submit a syllabus. Please inquire with your advisor if you have any questions. If you are a member of the military, both active duty and retired, you may have a joint services transcript that has been sent along with other college transcripts to ASU. The joint services transcripts are not used in the initial, initial evaluation of transfer courses. They are evaluated on an individual basis for directly equivalent coursework. Please note that most of these classes are considered vocational in nature, 
And within the electrical engineering major, there are not many hours that are applicable. We do have a few classes. If you are hoping to be awarded more joint service transcript hours, you would likely need to change your major that has more free electives. For example, maybe you took a class, uh, maybe your program has an open free elective that you could take anything you want, that's where you would want to change your major to for courses that don't apply specifically to the major. The ASU online format and what to expect. The ASU online format, you may have heard the word accelerated a lot used in this program. That does not mean the major itself is accelerated. It means that the lower division coursework is offered in accelerated and truncated sessions A and B, which are seven and a half weeks long. All of the one and 200 level coursework is offered in those sessions. All of the upper division coursework, three and 400 level, is offered in the traditional 15 week long C session semester. So when you look at the academic calendar at ASU, you'll notice that sessions A, B overlap C. A and C start at the same time in the fall and spring. Summer's a little bit different. Sessions A and B in summer are six weeks long and session C is eight weeks long. The ASU online format has the same faculty and AVID accreditation as the Tempe campus, and students attend asynchronously. There is no requirement for you to be on your classroom at any specific time for a lecture. They're all posted to your classroom. Keep in mind, this degree is a four-year program when students are taking 30 credits per academic year of required coursework. Of course, if you have transferable coursework that is part of the major, this may be less time, but it could also mean more time. If you're attending part-time, it's definitely going to increase the amount of time to degree completion. Set yourself up for success. Expect to devote 20 to 30 hours per week of study time for each seven and a half week long, three or four credit hour math, science, or engineering course. When possible, pair lab courses with non-lab courses. And just as an example, FSE 100, which is Intro to Engineering and a two credit hour course has been reported to take about 20 hours per week of study time because there are some group lab projects. So again, engineering is requiring you to devote a little bit more time than in many other majors at ASU. Working full-time versus part-time and classes. Students do have the flexibility to take classes according to your needs. Of course, again, this is an asynchronous environment. For students who work full-time, and when we say full-time, we need 40 plus hours per week, we recommend taking one class per session to start off with, just to make sure you can feel the rigor for the program and how quickly these classes move along. For students with fewer outside commitments, we recommend maybe two classes per the shorter sessions. Once you get your feet wet, feet wet, you may be able to add on more per session. Taking a break from studies. It is allowed and ASU students can take up to seven consecutive fall and spring semesters without becoming inactive or having to reapply. However, if you take more than three consecutive fall or spring semesters off and your catalog year has changed and there are more requirements in the new catalog, you will be required to change to the new catalog, which may require you to take more classes. So again, what we would recommend is not taking more than three consecutive fall or spring semesters off to avoid an increase in credit requirements. How do online classes work? Well, we use Canvas Classroom. We use Unerlock for our proctored webcam test exams. The discussion boards that faculty use outside the classroom are things like Yellow Dig and Piazza or the like. And then for your labs, for circuits classes, you will be required to purchase a lab kit and it will be noted in the course syllabus. And then you'll be using modeling software with a remote connection or online simulations for your labs. Here are some hardware and software requirements. On your MyASU, there is a service tab. If you have any questions about your connectivity, feel free to reach out to the University Technology Office to get some assistance. The academic calendar are all the deadlines required for students to follow. Please be aware that these dates are imposed by the university and not by the advisors. These dates are in stone and all students are responsible to understand them when you have to add a class, drop a class, withdraw, etc. 
Here are some additional campus resources for you. The Veteran Center, financial aid if you have questions about student loans and scholarships, tutoring services, both ASU's version as well as Fulton having tutoring services, and then the Fulton Schools of Engineering website, which is essentially engineering.asu.edu. It's a great centralized hub of links to resources like career services, scholarships, clubs, and more. Next steps, again, important, this recording is not a substitute for the new online student registration session with an advisor via Zoom. Meeting with the advisor during this session is much more detailed for you and you will re receive student-specific feedback and follow-up, and then you will be assigned with this advisor to move forward. We do understand that you have many support staff here at ASU to help you along the way. You will be getting contacted by someone called a success coach. The success coach will contact you throughout your, peer, throughout your courses to check on you, see how you're doing. If anything academic comes to mind while speaking with your success coach, please make sure that you reach out to your academic advisor as they are the ones who are supposed to be helping you with all things academic. Um, you may also have a relationship with a financial coordinator, um, an enrollment advisor, admissions. Those are all wonderful resources. But again, anything related to your degree plan, please make an appointment with your advisor. And of course, you may e email them as well with any questions you might have. If you haven't taken the session before, email us at askee at asu.edu or call us at 480-965-3424 to get added to the next available session. And again, a reminder, if you have no transferable math, feel free to go to the Alex Math Placement website and do some practice and then take the test. Also, you can follow us on social media by scanning this QR code. We look forward to helping support you along the way in your degree plan. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you for listening.